I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Today is Sunday, and uh, this is Castle Majestic Hotel Enugu. I'm about to go and speak. I've been running a financial kingdom financial conference since Friday. In the, par in the, in the story of um, Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to verse 7, the oil stopped. The prophet was there. The anointing was there. The oil was there. There were no more vessels to pour the oil into. This was the prophet that feared the Lord, that loved God, that worked hard. In those days, he most probably would have been tightened from his products or finances. Okay, maybe prophets in those days don't pay tight. I don't know. But you see, even if you pay tight, even if you give offerings, even if you fear God, as long as there is no more space for God to pour his blessings into, as long as there are no new investments, as long as there are no new areas where God can use men to place a demand on the values of the services you provide, your finances will be limited. That's what the church is not teaching. We should teach people that the more opportunities we create, the more investments we'll make, the more efforts we put to increasing value and productivity, the more God will bless us. Number two, he said, go sell the oil. That is to say, the prophet's wife was going to learn the techniques of selling, marketing. Elisha was a very pragmatic pastor, prophet. Go sell the oil. He did not just say, God bless you, you are going to be this, this is your month or this and that. No, he did not just prophesy. He applied basic economic principles. Religion should not remove common sense from us. Go sell the oil. The woman needed to know how to market oil and pay your debts. The woman needed to know how to do debt management, paying off debts. A lot of Christians owe. You do business with pastors, they don't want to pay. You, uh, you, you rent houses to pastors, they don't want to pay. Pastors borrow money from cooperatives, they don't want to pay. Pastors' children attend your school, Christians attend your school, they don't want to pay school fees. That's one bad character we have in the body of Christ. The ability to be financially responsible and credible. Go pay your debts. Debt management is a skill. If you don't have all the money at one segment, pay bit by bit. Before you know it, you are finished paying your debts. Number three is a go live on the rest and live on the rest. That is, she needed to have investments that she does not need to work every time to make money. She needed to have long-term investments, like real estate, like productive ventures. I don't need to be in my school to make money. I've traveled for so many days now, and I'll keep traveling. I don't need to be there. I invested in such a way that even if I'm not there, I have workers running the system and the structures there. That was one of the things that made me to stop medical practice. Because for medical practice, I needed to be there. There are some patients will come, they need to see you. And I see a lot of doctors walking into old age. Any business that you cannot live and travel is your master. So invest with your youthful money so that you can live on it. When I was selling books, I would take the money from the books and reinvest. Today, I don't carry books all over the place as I go to preach. Because at the time, there was a conflict in my spirit. Was I selling books or I was preaching Christ and preaching the message he gave to me? So, live on the rest. Do you have any business, anything you have laid down, that even if you don't go to work for six months, you will still survive, you will still live a comfortable life? Live on the rest. I call that living on profit. These are the things I'm going to teach them in the church this morning. 
and I hope you have learned something from what I have said. Paying tithes, serving in church, praise and worship, just believing Jesus Christ is not enough. There is the sociology of the Bible, there is the spirituality of the Bible. Elisha put two of them together in this singular passage of 2 Kings chapter 4, 1 to 7. What have you of sale value? Borrow vessels. Borrow not a few. The woman borrowed a few. And then pour out the oil. And then go sell the oil. Marketing. Pay your debts. Debt management. Live on the rest. Futuristic, long-term investment. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Remember to like this channel. Remember to visit our ebook shop, petrapublications.com. God bless you. Enugu, beautiful city. I've had a good time here. Castle Majestic Hotel, very nice hotel. I've had a good time here. Pastor Festus Uche and Dr. Koro, all from Airborne State. Uh, thank you so much for being good friends for the past 17 years. God bless you.